Hey, today I'm going to be walking you through how to build a WhatsApp and SMS CRM app in less than 10 minutes. We're going to be using Twilio and Google Sheets as the data source and the WhatsApp API to build this application. This is going to be a nice primer if you want to just get up and running your first application using Toolchat. So let's create a new app from the dashboard. Let's begin by renaming our app and then we'll build the UI of the app. Alright, now we will head over to the widgets manager on the left sidebar and then drag the text widget to use it as a header for our app. Click anywhere on the widget to open the inspect panel on the right sidebar and we can change its property from there. Let's enter text and format it using the HTML heading tags. Now let's add one more text widget to the canvas and add a short description about the app. Then add a container widget to the canvas and use it to group other widgets like table and button. Now we will add a table inside this container which will be used to display the customer's information. The table will display the data fetched from the Google Sheets using a query. We'll learn how to create queries later in this video. Now let's do the same with the text area widget and the button widget. Let's beautify the button by changing its properties. Here we go, we are done with the building of the UI of our app. You can also utilize widget properties and add more widgets to improve the interface of the app. So now, we'll have to connect the data sources and create queries to make the app fully functional. To connect the data sources, go to the data source manager from the left sidebar and click on the add data source. Select Google Sheets and choose read only permission. You'll have to authenticate the toolkit for your Google account and once auth is successful, you can save the data source. So we have successfully added our first data source. Now let's create a query to fetch the customer information from Google Sheets. We need to fill the information like operation that query will perform, spreadsheet ID which we can get from the URL of Google Sheets and a range of cells. Let's preview and check if the query is working fine. Great, so it's fetching the data from the Google Sheets in the form of JSON object. Now we can go to the advanced tab and toggle run query on page load and rename the query as get data and click on the create button to save our first query. Now let's go to the table and change its properties to display the data from the query. Anything inside double curly braces is JavaScript and we will use the dot notation to access the properties of the JSON object that we got from the query. We can add new columns or edit the properties of any column like column type, name and key. Once done, the data will be automatically displayed on the table. Let's go ahead and add Twilio data source to add the SMS functionality. We will need to get the details from a Twilio account like odd token, account SID and the messaging service SID. You will find the odd token and the account SID on the dashboard of your Twilio account. And to get the messaging service SID, you'll need to create a messaging service in your Twilio account. Once done, click save and the Twilio data source will be added to the app. Now let's create a query to send the SMS using the Twilio API. Select Twilio from the data source dropdown and select send SMS from the operations dropdown. In the number field, we will use JS to fetch the contact number of a customer from the selected row in the table. And in the body field, we will use the JS to get the value from the text area widget. After this, toggle run query on the page load and rename the query as the send SMS. Click on the create button and we have successfully created a query to send SMS to a number. Now let's add an event handler to the button so that whenever it is clicked, an action to run the send SMS query is performed. And finally, we will create an event handler to send customized WhatsApp messages. Just use the on click event and set action to open the web page. In the URL field, enter the WhatsApp click to chat API. We will pre-fill the link with phone number from the selected row and the message from the text area widget 
and that we will do using the js dot notation. So now that we are done with everything, let's go ahead and save the current version of the app. To save, click on the deploy button on the top right corner. Create a new version and then save it. Let's preview the current version of the app. And here you go, our app is good to go. Just click on any row to select it. Enter your message in the text area and then click on the send message button. It will open a new tab to send WhatsApp message to the selected customer with a pre-filled message. As well as it will also send a SMS to their mobile number. Toolget allows you to share your application using the shareable link. Click on the share button on the top right and then turn toggle on to make your application public. You can also customize the shareable link according to your preference. If you have any questions, you can drop us an email or join our Slack community. Thanks for watching.